Hi, uh, so just a video about um, online photo editing software that I found, uh, Photo, photo Jet, uh, Photo Jet. This could be handy um, if you ran a website or if you wanted to crop your photographs before you put them up onto your website. Um, or for if you just wanted to do, do some photo editing and uh, if you don't own Photoshop or something like that. So it does other things too. Um, I've got creative design, make a collage here. Um, I haven't really tried them out. I guess you could do a poster or something with these things. I'm not sure about the collages. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm going to use this one here, or edit a photo. So you can um, register and log in um, to use more aspects of the tool as far as I know, and you can upgrade it to remove the ads, but you don't need to do that um, to use it. So just um, w wait for it to load up because it's still loading into the browser. So it usually, it usually only takes a minute. There you go. So, um, okay, there's lots of stuff to use here, but I'm just going to use the crop and resize. Um, so if I just do open, I can open the image on my computer. I've got an image here at the Giant's Causeway. Um, now, when it opens up, you see, um, you now it's, it's actually, it's even, it's a bit too large for that, but this is a very, this is a very big image. Um, it's, it's resized down to 3200, seems to be the largest image you can handle. Um, this is the image. I think it's just a bit bigger than that. So obviously, if you're doing serious, um, work, you wouldn't be using this, uh, I mean, as in like making a, a big picture. There we go. That's the original size of it. But it would definitely work for um, uh, something like, um, okay, that's just another version of this, I'd open it, just ignore that. Uh, it, it would work for using, you know, getting a, an image together for your website or something, or Photoshop, or excuse me, or um, Facebook or something like that. So um, if I click on the resize over here, it shows me the size, and I can change that. So um, that's one of the you know the easiest things to do but before i do that i'll do a crop because that's also a common thing so um actually before i do the crop i'll just um show you this thing here in case you don't realize uh, most people do i suppose that that uh, you know this image is not bigger than this image you know it's that's just zoomed in so um don't get tricked with that so if you press this it gives you the 100 percent. that's the actual size of the image but of course to work on it if it's a big image you need to zoom out so um uh, with this, I can move this box around anywhere I want, and um, it gives me different ones. You're usually going to just leave it on freeform, and I can uh, move the crop handles um, anywhere I want. So let's say that was the image there that I wanted to get, and just press um, apply. Right, so that's my cropped image, and if I go back into resize here, I see this is the new size because obviously I cropped out a lot of the image. So then suppose I wanted to uh, make that smaller, so I wanted it to be a thousand pixels wide. Now, I want to leave the lock, excuse me, I want to leave the lock on uh, to keep the aspect ratio <coughs> the same. Um, so you don't want to change that. So just type in my, there's a thousand pixels, gives me 772 in height. And I press apply. Now again, I could see what that actually looks like by pressing that if I want to. Um, now, like I said, there's tons of other stuff here. I would, you know, advise you to use these with uh, discretion because you can really make your images look um, funny with them. Um, but you, if you know what you're doing or you're careful with them, you can correct um, things too uh, fairly easily. Yeah. Okay, so next we'll save it. Um, oh yeah, just I think just I didn't I didn't try those out, but. Um, you know, this is where I think you can do these poster things. You can put text and things on them. But anyway, I'm just going to save this image. And um, you next, well, you need to pick JPEG or PNG. Um, usually PNG is for, you know, um, logos and that type of thing. JPEG is usually for photos. You could use either for either, but um, if it's a photograph, you'll be using JPEG mostly. Um, I'm going to give it a new name because... Um, It'll, otherwise it'll um, replace the original. Now, um, tell me the size there. 
and it's telling me the file size. So my original file, file size, I think, was around 2,000. Um, you know, it's 2 megabytes, 2,000K. So it's a lot smaller, but I might want to use the high version of it, which is 587. Um, I'm not going to get into, you know, the sizes that you would use, say, on a website, but generally speaking, 587 is pretty high for, in this case, for a website. But then 1,000 pixels is pretty pretty big too. Um yeah, it's a big subject, um, kind of a budgeting type thing where you use um, you use stuff as, as small as you can, but if you go too small, it'll it, um, it won't it won't look very high quality. Uh, on a professional system like Photoshop, it's not just high, medium, and low. You're going to get like a percentage slider that will go the whole way from zero to one hundred, and you would normally I normally pick around seventy or eighty percent. Um, on this, you might get away with medium. It depends. If you want to get it nice and small, and it's a big, it's a large photograph in terms of size, and you want to keep it, the file size down, um, I'd probably, you know, I'd probably um, put, put two versions on the desktop: um, a small, a medium one, and a high one, and just check them out and see if the medium one is high enough quality. If it is, use that. Um, so that's probably a disadvantage to this program because you've only got medium and high. I would probably you probably never want to use low. I, I can't imagine wanting to use low. I haven't tried it out. Maybe maybe low on this is is medium on Photoshop or something. Though for all I know, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, that could be the case actually. My, maybe low is not too bad. But generally speaking, you want to have a 70, 80, 90 percent quality uh, if you can get it. So I'm just going to leave it as I'll leave it as medium actually. See what it's like. Um, so I press save to computer. And it's going to save to my desktop so I have it set up. So, um, okay. Um, I might try that. <laughs> I didn't know that was the case actually. Um, so, this is the edited one, I think, and it's the original. So, I can do a preview of the original and the edited one. And, um, yeah, the, the medium is reasonably high quality there. It's, it's not amazing. But we did we did crop um, this area, so we've effectively zoomed into this area over here. So I don't know. Would you? It's not, it's not too bad here. Um, so maybe maybe low is okay then. Maybe medium is okay. But um, I leave that. That like I said, that's a large subject. But uh, hopefully that helps to explain how to um, do some. Um, photo editing online and um, and there's lots of other stuff here too so okay